up people? I know it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube uploading any content. I've just been busy working, doing whatever. Um, I'm gonna try and play catch up on some of the albums that I've meant to get to and some animes that uh, I've been watching or whatever. Um, and I figured I'd try and do an actual video video this time instead of audio to see how I like it. See maybe if I like this film better than just audio. So just a little experimentation. Uh, but I'll just jump right into it. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, the latest album from Feral March, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Um, if you don't know who Feral March is, he was in a group called Organized Confusion back in the day. Um, he, uh, with Prince Poe, was uh, the guy in the group. Um, most known for his single Simon Says, which was on his debut album, Internal Affairs. If you haven't heard that, go back and listen to that. Uh, I won't go too much into his, his history. You should know who he is. If you don't, oh well, do your own research. I'm not going to blab your ear off about it. Um, but as far as this album goes, um, as the title implies, it deals with post-traumatic stress disorder. Not necessarily from the view of a war veteran, but at least that's not what I got out of it. More so just of your everyday person just trying to trying to make it and who's obviously struggling, having breakdowns, dealing with being an addict of, of all kinds. Um, and you definitely get that tone throughout this album. Um, overall, before I go into like specific pros and cons, I did like this listen. I'm actually, I'm sorry, I'm, I did like this album. I'm actually glad that I didn't review this a little earlier because it gave me more time to sit and actually listen to it and adjust it a little more. Um, it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad at the same time. He, for the most part, kept consistent with his theme of post-traumatic stress disorder of being kind of, you know, depressed, anxiety, you know, just kind of battling with his everyday demons. Uh, lyrical content, if you know Pearl March, he's never, you know, never slacking off uh, on the microphone. He does not slack off at all on this. Um, still witty with with lines, plenty of, of memorable lines in some of these songs, of course. Um, unfortunately, I can't remember any of them off the top of my head. I actually had liner notes recorded for this, and then I accidentally cut my laptop off. So all those lines that I thought were, I, I can't remember because I don't have my notes. But whatever, you'll hear them when you get to the songs. Um, I think, I guess I'll start with cons first. There were some points in the album that didn't always stick with the theme. Like at some parts, it would break away from that whole like post-traumatic theme. And you know, when you listen to the songs, you'll see how kind of I guess depressing would be kind of the word. But there are some songs that kind of stray away from that. Like the song "Dream" with Tyler Carly was kind of it wasn't necessarily a bad song, but it kind of broke away from that theme, so to speak. And there were a few other tracks here and there that kind of distracted uh, from it, which kind of made it lose a cohesive feel. Um, but that's about the only con I can think of. Other than that, um, pros um, for the songs that he did stick with the theme with, he did a pretty good job. Um, standout tracks, um, Time 2 was a, a good one. That was like the opener track to the album. Um, pretty much him dealing with mental breakdowns on um, there's a line in there when he's talking about him wilding out in Times Square because his job wasn't anything before he got there. Um, Losing My Mind was another one that's actually the second track off the album. Um, and throughout these songs he keeps good like lyrical wit while he's while he's rhyming and he does a really good job of conveying that that feeling of I guess like being depressed and kind of just you know on the edge. Um, Damage was another good song. That was a, a concept track of him talking through as he's trying to think of a way to, He's talking from the perspective of a bullet, pretty much, and all of the damage that the bullet is causing. Um, another thing I liked about this album was the, the skits and things that he has in between. Um, there are a few tracks called like the Recollection Facility. You have like this uh, like voice that's kind of talking to him putting, you know, things in his ear that he probably shouldn't be listening to. Um, there's another skit called Side Effects. Um, 
which talks about it's, it's basically like a mock commercial of how the side effects of the drugs that you take to cure you the, the side effects are often worse than what it is that you're actually trying to cure uh, I, I thought that was a nice little throw in there um rapid on movement with black thought was probably the best track on here that track didn't have much to do with <laughs> post-traumatic stress disorder it was more so of them just trading bars but they they definitely went in black thought had a nice line about um he said something about uh, throwing shots to ancient greece the pop uh hits obviously something like that I don't know it, but when you listen to it you'll you'll know what i'm talking about um the jungle was another good track of him pretty much drawing comparisons between his environment and the jungle uh self-explanatory uh, broken again that's another one of my favorite songs on here that one that one I think does the best job out of all the tracks on here really conveying the emotion and being like real descriptive as far as you know talking about post-traumatic stress sort of talking about being wildly depressed battling with addiction and, and things like that um I won't spoil every other track on here but as I said for the most part not a great album not a terrible album though by any means um it was it was solid throughout um he definitely like i said earlier good lyrical content um still witty with the lines he 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 has some really really good wordplay like among the best of anybody you could probably think of um i guess eh, i guess sometimes i just wish he i don't know i mean since it was a concept album i, I guess i can't complain too much because being that he's a wordsmith, that you like to just hear him spit. But when you're dealing with the concept and the theme, I guess you kind of kind of stick within that theme, which he did. Um, and as I said earlier, the only con I could think of would be that the production wasn't great. Like I said, it wasn't terrible. It kind of just got by. It, it did what it needed to do. It was kind of just there, I guess, so to speak. But nothing to to like stand. Nothing really stood out about it, I guess. Um, but overall, definitely enjoyed it. I think if you're a Fairmont fan, you'll enjoy it. Um, and I, I think it's it's a relatable album. Uh, hopefully no one's that on the edge as <laughs> you described in some of these songs. But it's definitely relatable in a sense um, of people, everyday people just dealing with, you know, depression and everyday, you know, life situations and so on and so forth. So, um, if you listened to my videos before, I don't really not want to do ratings, but I would just say go go check it out. Um, like I said, if you're a Fairmont fan, you'll definitely um, enjoy this. Uh, go pick it up, go support. Um, and I guess that's pretty much all I gotta say. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a good listen for me. Um, hopefully, I'll be back soon with another review. And so then, I will catch y'all next time.